Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Saturday night, there in Colorado, at about 9.02 p.m., there was a magnitude 2.8 earthquake. Colorado has a large earthquake, and I mean a large one, between every 7 to 10,000 years. The last time there was a major earthquake was 7,000 years ago. Colorado has relatively few earthquakes. First, they said there's only been about 400 earthquakes since the 1800s. And now they say there's probably about 500 earthquakes. Uh, they might be including the fracking and water injection earthquakes, man-made earthquakes, uh, with that upgrade of 100 earthquakes. This earthquake was within the Homestake Shear Zone. A shear zone is where two tectonic plates collide. And one fault moves in the opposite direction, creating huge earthquakes. It's another failed rift zone. Rocks that are pulled apart are under tension. Rocks under tension lengthen or break apart. Tension is the major type of stress at divergent plate boundaries, where forces are parallel, but moving in opposite direction. Down here at the bottom to the south, we have Aspen, and it extends all the way up to Camp Hale. The largest earthquake they've had in Colorado since they started monitoring earthquakes was in 1882. That was a magnitude 6.6. .6. Now, back in 1967, there was a 5.3 earthquake. That earthquake was man-made. It was caused by a 1,200-foot well that was drilled in the 1960s into the ground to dispose of um, you know, hazardous waste by the military. And about a year after this 1967 earthquake, um, they stopped pumping the water or fluids into the ground and started slowly withdrawing them. Since 1973, in this location of the earthquake, they have had 16 earthquakes. They know that Adding fluids to the ground and extracting the fluids from the ground causes earthquakes and reactivates a lot of different fault zones. I spent all day so far marking out all the earthquakes that have occurred within, what, the last three years going back to 2019. Seeing how Colorado is not supposed to have a large amount of earthquakes. You know, there's been earthquakes down here last year by this um, roof system that I talked about. There is a lot of fracking going on in the Trinidad area, and they've been watching that area as well for the potential of large earthquakes. Magnitude 6.5 earthquakes, they feel, occur here in Colorado once every 150 years. So they are probably due for another large earthquake seeing how that other one, the 6.6, .6, occurred in 1882. The Rio Grande Rift System, which extends all the way down to uh, Texas, New Mexico, is also thinning and expanding, and they're expecting uh, more earthquakes along this rift system because of this. Some geologists feel that the Sangre de Cristo fault system there in Colorado is one of the most dangerous fault systems in the state. I only have part of it drawn out, and then you can see here there was a series of earthquakes last year. This is one of the more prominent fault zones in Colorado. Um, they would not be surprised if there's not a large earthquake coming from this fault system. Back in 2011, there was a magnitude 5.3 earthquake near Trinidad. Now they feel that this earthquake was caused by the rifting, the spreading of the Rio Grande uh, fault system. I have a moment tensor ball on here from that magnitude 5.3. Uh, 1,877 people said they felt that earthquake in 2011. And here on the moment tensor ball you can see how there was in fact spreading. So that's all I have for you right now. If any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. 
Um, there's simple things you can do to be safe, such as making sure your um, hot water heater is bolted safely attached to um, the walls. Make sure you don't have heavy objects in your kitchen that can fly out and hit your hit you in the head or heavy objects near your bed. I put a link down below to a video you can watch. And in that video, it says how the majority of earthquakes strike when people are in bed sleeping. Interesting. So are you earthquake prepared? I hope so. Uh, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.